Hi folks, this is Jack Spirico with another survival podcast video. Today we're going to do a couple videos for you on different parts of the garden. I wanted to start out with one of our first beds here. And I want you to look at this massive wall back here. This is lemon cucumber. In fact, I think we've got, we've got a couple of them here. So this is actually a cucumber. I know it doesn't look like a cucumber, but that's what's called a lemon cucumber. I think I've got a couple more of them on that are ready to come off. And uh, so we'll chop those up and have them in the house later. But uh, what I wanted to point out that's kind of amazing here, this is a single cucumber plant. It's gone absolutely uh, bat crazy. And uh, doing some pruning today, I thought I'd bring you out to see that. I'm actually just taking some of this off. Underneath here is a uh, cherry tomato plant. And the uh, cucumber's pretty much eating it. We'll compost that stuff. So I'll be working on this today. I just wanted to kind of give you an update on uh, what a good compost mix will do for a plant. And uh, that again is one cucumber plant. And we can see the uh, tomato plant that it's kind of consumed. And believe it or not, there's actually over here a, a baby watermelon It's called a uh, sugar baby watermelon plant vertical. We got one watermelon off of this year. It's probably all we're gonna get. It's pretty much been consumed. And uh, of course, we're big on interplanting. And these Asian long beans are growing right in this mess with everything else. And they are a big source of nitrogen, which is partly why, uh, why we have such good growth right here. Get a couple more of those. So here's a little harvest so far there. And uh, we're going to follow, have a uh, actually hold on a second. I wanted to show you one of my failures this year too. To get the camera to come in down here, and I'll go ahead and bring this out. This is what squash bugs do. Could you bring, like focus down in there? And there they are. Bring the bring the camera in, like all the way in. Go ahead and get a picture of them. Well, I was close. But you're not getting. All right. Get get. Oh, that's gross. See, there's one Hold right on. there. Those are the little vermin. To destroy squash plants and uh, we had some chickens I'm sure they'd enjoy eating those but that's what happened to all my just about all my squash this year there's some more of them up in there Ew. and uh, I guess those ones won't be causing trouble anymore but that's a big problem we've had this year and uh, it's led us to uh, uh, really have a lot of failures with our winter squash and our summer squash I tried a lot of different uh, methods of organic prevention and I wasn't able to control them this year. There's just too many of them. So we do have failures and it's important to show those. Here's a, uh, we'll call it a rebirth after a failure. This is a young celebrity tomato plant and they might wonder why isn't it huge? Well, because we lost all our tomato plants this year. Um, but this particular one should get us a few tomatoes by, uh, by fall. We had a real bad problems with blight and it hasn't gone away. You can see in this little plant back here that is tomato blight and we just got it really bad this year and it's probably going to take a good frost to uh, to kill it off and free us from it next year uh, it was just a, again a failure but it was the uh, the only real failure this year were the uh, squash and the tomatoes over here I'd like to show you something else this is uh, Hopi red diamaranth and um, as you can see it's got little tufts of grain in addition to the one main grain head now this grain head is ready to be uh, harvested. And the way you can tell when your amaranth is ready to be harvested, put your hand on it and just kind of shake it a little bit. And when you get these little black seeds, that's actually amaranth grain. When they come out that easy, that means it's ready to harvest the grain head. So we'll take the head of this amaranth and we'll dry that out. And uh, we'll just basically, once it's dried out, hold it over a, a bucket or a bag and shake it and all that uh, seed grain will come out. And we'll let this continue to grow and uh, maybe it needs to be propped up a little bit and we'll see how much grain we can get from one amaranth plant really uh we didn't plant amaranth for grain this year we planted a little bit of it for greens early i let this one go heavily to just to see how much grain we get out of it we may plant a uh a full bed next year for grain purposes uh, but this is a good plant for eating as well um, the small leaves on the side shoots are basically a spinach substitute it tastes really good kind of salty and uh, very high in vitamins and uh, minerals so that's bed one and what we got going on. I mean, we've got some uh, 
Gypsy Peppers, they're doing pretty well for us. We've got our boxwood basil. There's actually quite a bit here. As you can see, again, this cucumber's just gone, uh, gone mental, taking over the bed. So uh, that'll do it for this video, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, check the next uh, video in the series, and we'll show you some more of what's going on.